Welcome everyone, here is how you use the USB-C to Apple Pencil adapter. So you will need the iPad 10th generation, uh, you will also need the Apple Pencil 1st generation, not the 2nd gen. The 1st gen is curved all the way around, the 2nd gen has a flat point. If you have the wrong Apple Pencil, of course you will need the correct one. So let's open up the box here, and you can see here is the adapter. So if I take this out, so attempt to take this out there we go <laughs> almost flew across the table so one end here is for the apple pencil the other end is for the usb-c so first of all connecting the apple pencil we remove the lid like this make sure this is safe somewhere because you may lose it you're then going to find the ends for the apple pencil which is marked by this little circle see that circle there connect the apple pencil on this end and now the usb-c part so by default your device ipad charges with usb-c the usb-c so you're going to unplug the usb-c uh, part of the charger which is on the wall you're going to connect this to the ipad like this you're then going to get the other end of the usb-c cable and you're going to plug it in to the adapter and once we've done this let's see here if i go to the settings bluetooth there we go bluetooth pound quest apple pencil like to pair with your ipad let's tap on pair and now the apple pencil is connected so right now it does say the battery is low and it's currently not responding to touch maybe i need to unplug it for that to work welcome to the apple pencil so right now i think the pencil is dead which is why it's not working but you can see the connection was successful let's see yeah i mean right now it's not recognizing the pencil which is interesting let's see if that was enough charge there we go so now things are being recognized like this and i'm just going to quickly ch uh, check if i connect the charger again okay so you cannot use the apple pencil first generation while it is connected to the charger but you can when it's not now in order to charge the pencil you don't need to be connected to the ipad that's just for the pairing so you can leave the usb-c part in the charging brick so of course you can charge your ipad so you charge your ipad with this cable normally and then you connect the adapter plug in the pencil and now you're charging the apple pencil directly from the wall is it perfect no but you know it's not that bad to be honest so with that being said thanks for watching see you guys later bye bye